history and examination of the painful and injured knee. A history of dashboard injury or a fall into the plantar flexed foot will cause a posterior cruciate ligament injury. The posterior cruciate ligament is tested by the posterior drawer test. The posterior drawer will be done in 70 to 90 degree of flexion. Watch for the sag. The amount of translation in relationship to the femur is observed. In general, if the knee is bent or the foot is plantar flexed, then that can give you a PCL injury. However, if the knee is extended or in valgus or you have hyperextension injury, that can give you an ACL injury. A non-contact pivoting injury with large swelling of the knee after hearing a pop is usually an anterior cruciate ligament injury. The middle genicular artery is usually injured and that usually will give you a hemorrhage inside the knee, large hematoma. The Lachman test is used to diagnose an injury of the ACL. The Lachman test is done by bending the knee to about 20 to 30 degree of flexion. At that point, the tibia is reduced, and when you pull the tibia forward, at that point, the tibia is subluxed forward. The pivot shift is also done for ACL tear, but is more used for the chronic ACL tear. It is different than the Lachman test. When the knee is straight, the lateral tibial plateau will be subluxed in extension. And at 20 to 30 degree of flexion, the tibia will be reduced by the iliotibial band. If the patient have a history of a fall in a dorsiflexed foot, the patient may have a patellar fracture. The patella can also fracture due to direct impact injury or indirect due to eccentric contraction. A meniscal injury occurred due to twisting injury. There will be some swelling and pain, which is worse with twisting or squatting motions, the patient may complain of locking of the knee. Examination will show a joint line tenderness which is specific for the meniscal injury. McMurray test is used to diagnose the presence of a meniscal tear. A painful click may be obtained at the knee is brought from flexion to extension in either internal or external rotation. An external rotation will be a medial meniscus. An internal rotation will be a lateral meniscus. Pain in the knee around the patella with climbing stairs or during sitting may be a sign of a patellar problem. The lateral patellar apprehension test is performed to check the knee for symptoms of a dislocation or subluxation of the patella. With the finger placed on the patella medially, try to push the patella laterally. If this causes pain and apprehension, then the test is considered positive. Isolated injuries of the posterolateral corner are usually rare and often cause instability and various thrust. By performing the dial test, you can detect if there is an isolated or combined injury of the posterolateral corner of the knee. In isolated posterolateral corner injury, the dial test will be positive at 30 degree of flexion.
It is better if the test is done prone and always compare the two sides together. Flexion at 90 degree angle will test the posterior cruciate ligament for an injury. More than 10 degree of external rotation asymmetry at 30 degree and 90 degree is consistent with postulateral corner and PCL injury. Medial collateral ligament tear. Pain on the inside of the knee with a popping sound after a blow to the outside of the knee is probably a sign of medial collateral ligament injury. The typical mechanism of injury to the MCL is due to valgus and external rotation force. Proximal tear of the MCL usually heals well and this is the most common location for the tear. You examine the MCL with valgus stress test at 30 degree of flexion. This valgus stress test at 30 degree of flexion tests the superficial part of the MCL. If the MCL is lax at zero extension, then that's a combined injury, MCL plus other ligaments, and possibly posterior capsule injury. Lateral collateral ligament tear. The lateral collateral ligament injury results from a various force across the knee, such as contact injury, like a direct blow to the medial side of the knee, or non-contact injury, such as hyperextension stress, which may result in a various force across the knee injuring the LCL. You're going to examine the LCL with a various stress test at 30 degree of flexion. Flex the knee to 30 degree and move the knee from side to side to assess for stability of the knee. If the patient has a history of a knee injury with neurovascular deficit, then think about knee dislocation. If the patient has a medial plateau fracture, think of a knee dislocation, examine the patient carefully for integrity of the circulation. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.